In a world veiled by the mists of the 10th century, a brilliant light emerged from the heart of Persia. This is the story of a mind that would shape the future of medicine for a thousand years. This is the story of Ibn Sina, known to the West as Avicenna. Imagine a young boy, not yet 10, surrounded by towering stacks of books and ancient scrolls. While others played, his playground was the universe of knowledge. His curiosity was boundless, his thirst for wisdom unquenchable. By the age of 10, he had memorized the entire Quran. By 16, he was not just studying medicine, he was mastering it. His mind danced between the complexities of philosophy, the vastness of astronomy, and the intricate workings of the human body. Before he even reached adulthood, the young Ibn Sina was already a phenomenon. Legends tell of him curing the Sultan of Bukhara when all other physicians had given up hope. He wasn't just a doctor, he was a medical prodigy. He saw patterns others missed, connected dots that seemed worlds apart, and began teaching seasoned physicians who were decades his senior. His library, a reward for his life-saving skills, became his sanctuary, a treasure trove of knowledge that fueled his revolutionary ideas. This period of intense study and practice culminated in his magnum opus, a work that would echo through the halls of medicine for centuries, al Kanun fi al-Tib, or the Canon of Medicine. This wasn't just a book, it was a comprehensive encyclopedia of all known medical knowledge of his time.